Morning, everyone. Bill Hurtado with Transwest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Frederick, we're about 25 miles north of Denver right here. So uh, when you see my cell number on the Chiron down below, you'll, you'll know that's from somewhere else, as just about everybody's cell number is. But yes, 25 miles north of Denver here, so centrally located in the country. Uh, today, it's my privilege to show you a recent trade-in we just got. Um, I can choose any unit I want that comes in on trade or is brand new here on the lot. And I specifically requested to do this one right here. I'm a big fan of the Winnebago Navion that we sell. This is a view. They're identical. The name on the side is the only difference. And this particular floor plan in this 2020 model is the 24D. I'm going to show you why that is the absolute best floor plan of the three, at least in my opinion. I reserve judgment for you to decide for yourself, of course. But let's talk about this real quick here. This 2020 um, view, I'm going to slip up and say Navion, get, get used to it. But this view here has uh, just under 55,000 miles on it. So that being said, there is still engine warranty from Mercedes left on this. The uh, previous owner has taken very good care of this. There's a few little dings and scratches here and there, but nothing major whatsoever. It is really in excellent condition. It looks super, super nice. So real quick, I wanna tell you a little bit about the history on this one. I did pull a Carfax. It's clean all the way through, as clean as they can come. And the previous owner, local unit too, by the way, has done a few things. There are new batteries throughout on this unit. These Toyo tires were recently put on. There's only 6,000 miles on those right now. He did add a third solar panel up on the roof. And while I don't know the exact wattage, by appearance, it looks to be about 300 watts total. Uh, this also has the uh, WineGuard Connect 2.0, which is both a cellular booster and a device that reaches out 2,500 feet and grabs uh, Wi-Fi signals for you. So that's very nice to have on this thing, especially if you go into a park and you're in that corner where it's kind of a dead zone. Uh, this works really well to get you that high-speed internet. He upgraded the springs on the back to the Sumo springs. So it's a, a much nicer ride on this thing. Uh, he did actually uh, add a sway bar to the rear. And I personally can attest, adding a sway bar to a vehicle is an amazing difference. It handles so much nicer. I've done it to two of my own personal vehicles, and if need be, I will continue to do it. The sway bar there keeps that back end from moving side to side right there. It gives you added support and a roll, so better roll stability. Um, fantastic. And not expensive feature to add, but it's on this one right now, and it's done right, and it drives absolutely wonderful. He also added hydraulic jacks to this thing. Not just the rear stabilizers, that's an option from Winnebago, but the full-blown set of four automatic hydraulic leveling jacks is on there. Um, I, I mentioned the engine on the Mercedes has a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Based on what I found for the initial purchase date of this thing, which was October 2nd of 2019, uh, that means we still have nine months and about 45,000 miles of warranty left on that engine. So, good to know. So let's talk about the 24D. Um, the biggest reasons I have for this being the absolute best floor plan are mostly on the inside. But there's a couple of things on the outside that kind of set it apart from the other models as well. So, first of all, of course, you know, Winnebago builds their own door. And it's a very heavy duty, strong door with the uh, shade for the window, 
the little compartment for knickknacks. You've got your uh, storage for trash down in here, and it has the integrated screen door built in over here. Double power step. This is full body paint. So beware when you're looking at other, say 2020 models, uh, you're shopping in that particular market. Not all of them are the full body paint. So be aware, you've got the extra stripes on here than it is. All right, so this first compartment behind the entry door right here is very large. And up on the ceiling of that compartment is where they put the 1800 watt inverter. Maybe hard to see from that angle, but it is up there. And then you've also got your hatch so that you can grab power from inside there. Um, you've got television hookups inside there. Those can come down to the outside and you can set a portable TV outside here and watch everything from either your your WineGuard 2.0 or your local antenna or cable TV coming in from the other side. All right, moving back. This does have the solid aluminum wheels on it. We're gonna get those things polished up because right now they're kind of dirty on there, uh, but those are really fantastic. The solid aluminum wheels set this thing off so nice when they are shiny and they will be. Uh, this also has the 3600 watt propane generator over here. And to the bottom right of that, you'll notice it does have, see my shadow right here, that does have the auxiliary LP port coming to the outside. So there may be appliances that you want to run on the outside here, be it an oven, a heater, a barbecue, those kind of things. Back here in the extreme rear is another uh, small compartment. That is also a rotocast compartment. By definition, rotocast means one piece. And that's actually white versus black, but still the same thing. One of the things that's a little different here on this 24D is this storage compartment. Because of the configuration of the bathroom in the back of this thing, uh, there is a closet up above this, and there's even a hatch on the ceiling from the closet so you can get down into this compartment from the inside. So there may be things that you wanna store out here securely with the lock, but still access from the inside. You can do this on the 24D. All right, so moving back here, we do have the uh, backup camera that's integrated into the touch screen on the dash, which I'll be showing you at the end. Does have 5,000 pound hitch with the seven way plug on there already. So you can always adapt down from seven to pull anything you want, any wiring configuration. Over here on this corner, RVs in general, um, especially in this country, they kind of assume that you're gonna back into the camping space right there, and all of your hookups are outside over here. Your sewer, water, and electric, and cable TV in a lot of cases. So, of course, everything is always going to be on this side over here. So the wet bay, as we commonly refer to it, um, is back over here. This is where you can hook up your sewer hose down there on the bottom. Uh, this one also has the electric gate valves, so you're not having to reach underneath and get dirty. You've got low point drains. You've got winterized capabilities with that clear hose right there. Very easy to do. You have an outside shower with hot and cold running water. And then to the right of that, of course, is your 30 amp cord. Uh, it's 25 feet long, so very easy hook up there. While you're hooked up, with your sewer hose, you can hook up water up here to the black tank flush out, open your uh, black tank gate valve, and then watch everything come through that short section of clear on your sewer hose until you know you're all sanitized and cleaned out. All right, so the next compartment forward of that is not something that opens uh, without going underneath and unbolting it because that's where your holding tanks are housed. So if a technician never needs to get in there to repair anything, that's the access point. Well, that's the only spot on this unit where you don't have some accessibility yourself. Um, over here, 
forward of the wheel now, we do have another rotocast compartment right there. And then forward of that, of course, is your 12.2 gallon LP tank. 12.2, that's gonna be about 54 pounds of LP. All right. So Mercedes, I know many of you know this. I just like to point it out that it has the integrated lock for your fuel over here. No need for a locking gas cap because this thing is going to lock up or be encased right there so it can't be opened unless the door is open. All right. The three liter V6 turbocharged diesel engine is 188 horsepower and 325 foot-pounds of torque. This thing is really clean, really nice, very easy to get to everything, be it your windshield washer fluid, your brake reservoir over there, oil changes, oil check, transmission check, coolant overflow, reservoir tank, uh, all of it, very easy to get to. There's a prop, of course, on the other side. All right, so let's take a look inside. This is the part that I may get a little excited about because this is the 24D, like I've said eight times already. The absolute best floor plan. I wanna show you why. Let's take a look. Before I show you the bathroom, the rear bath back here, the cool thing about the 24D is everything is big. So let's talk about that for a sec. Big storage. You've got storage underneath the sofa right here. You've got three sections of storage underneath this U-Lounge dinette. They all open just like this, very easy. Easy access to everything. The most seating, big seating, I would call it. So because the 24D is the only floor plan that has two separate entities of seating, you've got a full length sofa, you've got the U-Lounge dinette, and of course the front seats. So in that event where you have 10 people coming in here to get out of the rain or whatever, you can accommodate them in this one. The big feature on sleeping. This has the most sleeping of any model. This 24D has a power bed. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute right here. So a huge queen bed over here. Of course, this dinette turns into an extra long bed as well. And then the overhead up above. This dinette, of course, you can use this thing this direction if you so desire. So before I go in the bathroom, let me demonstrate this bed for you real quick. Um, this is just another thing I love about the 24D. It's the largest bed of all the models. There's a switch in the bathroom right here that I'm reaching for. And I'm gonna bring this thing down to this point right here. Now I can easily extend my legs. Those lock in. We bring it the rest of the way down. All right, massive, big bed, biggest of all the models. That's also exposed these overhead cabinets up above over here for the extra storage. So those are blocked and out of the way when the bed is up. These dual reading lights back here, dual doesn't necessarily mean that there's two of them. Dual is a blue light and a white light. And I'm gonna show you that when we get to the front because I purposely left one, up, one on in the overhead compartment up there. So very easy. Nighttime position, daytime position. People ask, well, how hard is it to make that bed? You know, veteran RVers don't make their bed traditionally like uh, most people would at home with the fitted sheets and you know, uh, the, the blankets and it's just not normal. What I recommend on RV bedding is uh, 
And we don't have any skin in the game here. This is just something my wife and I have had for a long time, over 20 years. There is a device or a product rather called RV Super Bag. And it's a big glorified sleeping bag that has a summer side, a winter side, removable sheets on the inside, very comfortable. We've had ours 20 years and we still use it when we go camping. It's a fantastic product. That's what you wanna use here. Climb into that thing, plenty of room. It's oversized for the size of the bed and that will just roll up and sit back in there when this goes back up into the closed position. So there's a pretty good size void back there. Even if you wanted to add a topper to that, there's plenty of room back there for that to store when this bed is up. Another thing I really love about the 24D. So, all right. So the bathroom right here, let me let the camera go in. It does have a very nice large shower over there. That shower has the integrated door. It's got a skylight up above. I fit in there just fine at six feet tall. Does have a rear window for light coming in. It's got the skylight for light coming in over there. And then lots of storage in this thing. So you've, for a, for a relatively small bathroom, you do have great storage down here in the bottom. Previous owner added that shelf right there for a little extra space. And then integrated storage up here in the medicine cabinet. So really nice. I talked briefly outside. Oh, how's that look? My cat and I play a lot. I talked briefly about the closet back in here and it's a very generous size closet. There is a table over there on the left that stores for uh, the uh, positioning between the two front seats. And that can even be in place when you're driving. And this has that hatch I talked about that opens up inside here so you can access from the, uh, to the outside storage down below. Great bathroom. Lots of nice features in this bathroom right here. Okay, so one of the complaints people have is not enough pantry space on their unit. And Winnebago has solved that problem here on the 24D with the slide outs, the very deep compartments, uh, lots of storage in there, lots of space for that extra food that you wanna bring. Again, big, big, big fridge. Now we've got a 10 cubic refrigerator in here that normally this would take an eight foot absorption style or gas electric fridge. But because this is the 12 volt fridge, you don't have those fins in the back, back there. You've got full depth storage that way. You don't have to be level with this. The solar uh, regenerates the batteries to keep this thing running 24 seven, which of course it doesn't run 24 seven. It cycles like any refrigerator would. Um, and it's just fantastic. It's really great. It's gonna be on all the time, no matter what. So big fan there. All right, we do have the ability to start and stop the generator from inside here. We can check our battery levels and we can check our tank levels in here. We can turn the water pump on and off from in here or outside. And of course that's our solar, which is working right now because we've got all the lights on in here. Speaking of lights, I love what Winnebago's done right here. So this is really two rooms in their opinion. We've got these lights here for the bedroom area. We've got those four lights up there for the living room area. And these are dimmable. So very nice to have that feature. Uh, it's a little bit bright when you're sitting here at night. Same thing in the front area there. Um, oh, may not be able to hear it, but this is the ventilator for when you're cooking. And then we've got galley lights because that was a little dark looking at it right there. So you can have those on independently. And then this is a big deal to me, the indirect lighting that's over the overhead cabinets and underneath the galley down here. 
So I'll turn these on and off a few times so you can see. The other nice thing about the indirect lighting here is you can be traveling down the road, the co-pilot can be back here cooking a meal, taking a nap, using the restroom, watching TV with just these lights on. They're not going to put any glare against the windshield and interfere with the driver's ability to see what he's doing. And then also, with those lights on, we do get light from inside here, inside the cabinets. So it's a good design. Speaking of the cabinets themselves, these are Technoform, made in Italy. Used to be exclusively for Winnebago. Now other manufacturers have gotten on board and said, whoa, those are the best. We want them too. So Technoform is fantastic. The Navion and the View come with the optional white, if you so desire. And most people do. Uh, we've actually had people pass on buying a unit because it had the wood grain up here. And they said, no, we got to have the white. So we had to get a white in for them, had to wait quite a while. But I agree, the white is really cool. The white overhead cabinets up above is a nice contrast to the wood grain and wallboard and everything else in here. So kudos to this guy when he bought it brand new, having uh, insisted upon the white cabinetry. Now, you don't have to have those uh, indirect lights on, or mood lights, if you will, um, in order to take advantage of lighted drawers. So, let's talk about big again. The 24D, look at the size of all those drawers. There's massive amount of storage because you have the largest galley of any model, the most amount of counter space of any model, the largest sink area of any model that they build. True induction cooktop and gas side by side. And I love the soft closed drawers on all these. This thing is just built right. Not enough? Well, great. Then let's get into, we got a sticky, Got a sticky button, huge area underneath the sink right here. So not just room for more storage, but you can put a large container for your trash in there and plenty of other things. So another thing I love about this floor plan is unlike others, where you have kind of a corner bed, let's say, you have to have a second television back there if you want to watch TV during the night while you're in bed. Here, they set the TV central in the galley area. And the reason they do that is if you're laying in bed, easy view. If you're over here at the U-Lounge dinette, you can bring these up. You can lounge back this way, straight view to the TV. Well thought out. It really, really is. Everything flows so nice. It's integrated so well together. Daytime floor plan, nighttime floor plan. It's just very well thought out. Okay, so I want to mention some things up here in the overhead. This cushion will flip over to turn this into a bed up above, and then the ladder can attach on there for easy access. But... Um, Having it open like this makes it so easy to get in and out of the cab area right here. That's that blue light I was talking about. So very easy on the eyes. And I am told, I have not experienced this myself, but I am told that the blue light, when you're looking at your book and it's got the black lettering on there, makes it much easier to see the lettering. Uh, so not straining. And having, not having the white light on, like that, that's really bright right there. So nice having that option. Okay, let's see. I wanted to also mention that this model has two windows on the sides. I brought down this cover just so you could see that there's a slider window on each side. So good cross ventilation up here if need be. Privacy curtain here. This privacy curtain, I didn't mention it back here, but 
the master bed is down and you can attach that to the ceiling and close off that area back there. It doesn't close all the way off to the refrigerator so any other guest can still get through to the bathroom and they, uh, the master suite still has its privacy. So I think that's a big plus also. This has got the windshield covers and side window covers for the cab area up here. And let's talk about the cab area. So there's different models of chassis out there on this Sprinter. When you see the big 10 inch touchscreen up here, uh, that's gonna be an indicator that you have all the safety enhancements on this. Oh, I hear the awning coming in because I started the engine, so. Um, so this tells me that, like I say, I've got the adaptive cruise, I've got the lane mitigation, I've got the automatic braking, that's all integrated into this system. This is very user-friendly. So it looks complicated here, but to simplify things, let's talk about the touch controls on the steering wheel. This set of controls on the left side is going to handle everything on your multifunction display straight ahead on the dash right here. This little square piece right here is like a mouse pad. So I can move this to different things that I wanna have visible all the time. I can enable and disable my uh, adaptive cruise. Uh, go back to the home button. Now I've got all the things that I want to be displayed 100% of the time directly in front of me. Now, that being said, I've got that feature over here as well. And that's where the controls on the right side of the steering wheel come into play. So, as you can see, I'm in the navigation right there. Uh, it's a great nav system, too, by the way. It works really well. You know, we've all had some that send you around the block so you can park where you were right there anyway. Um, going back to the home position, I could use my mouse pad control to go to all the different things that I want throughout there. I do have phone connectivity here as well. Got a great stereo system. It sounds fantastic. I have paddle shifters for manual shifting up here. And then way down here, if you can see that, that is the touchpad control that the previous owner had installed with the automatic hydraulic leveling jacks down here. Got three memory positions for the seats. And when you get into this level of the Sprinter right here, you do have the power seats as well. Speaking of the seats themselves, I purposely turned this one around so that you could see what this cushion here is all about. Because of the drop down floor into the cab area right here, without this cushion in place, you're sitting pretty close to the floor right there. So even if we are adults, doesn't mean we can't use a booster seat like when we were kids. Okay, it's very, very smart to do so because it's much more comfortable to sit in that position. Okay, I think you guys have a pretty good feel for this thing right here. This is a 2020 Winnebago View, almost said Navion. Remember, they're the same, they're the same. 2020 Winnebago View Model 24D. I love the D. I know them all really well, and this one is the absolute best for a lot of reasons. The most floor space, the most, ga the most galley space, the most sleeping, the most seating. Um, just, you, you can't find a better layout, uh, hands down. And all of this comes in a size of 25 and a half foot overall length. That's an important number because a lot of the national and state parks are starting to come down to a 26 foot limit. That makes this the largest unit you can still take into those parks. So it's a win-win again. Please look down on the bottom. My phone number is gonna show up down there. 714-809-4813. I wanna talk to you about this thing. Let's talk about pricing. Let's talk about financing. Let's talk about you know, uh, delivery times, what we do prior to you taking delivery of this thing. I've got all the answers for you, but the ball's in your court. You gotta give me a call. 
let me tell you about this thing. I love this unit. It's a great opportunity for somebody to get the best of the best. It is right here. So, Bill Hurtado, TransWest Truck Trailer RV, Frederick, Colorado. Let's talk again soon. This one won't last. Thank you for checking in.